everybody it's Patsy from Patsy's Crochet how are you how was your day evening afternoon I just dropped something here I'm going to do a, um, a small tutorial today um, I used this beautiful yarn that I bought from Heather it's called drop Paris um, the color is blue um, it's a weight um, it's 50 grams 82 yards so it's hundred percent cotton and I use a number six millimeter crochet hook. Um, I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Used eight and a half, and I don't know where the half went to, but this is what I created from that shawl that I'm doing. So this is the back part of my top. I just did a triple crochet, chain one, skip one. That's all I did. Now I made my size to fit a 2X or baggier. <laughs> so this is the front. I did it with a four weight so you can see the pineapple stitch. I know that I have it up on a hanger and I want it on a mannequin. So one day I'll, I'll be getting a mannequin soon, hopefully. But it's the pineapple stitch. It's really beautiful and I'm going to show you how to do on a small example so I did it says to do 30 chains and you get two pineapples and a couple of these shells so um, I did 90 chains so 30 times 4 gives you 90 chains 30 60 yeah no it's for a second yeah I did 90 chains so that gave me for a 2x or bigger so it fits loosely so I'll just hang it here for now so you can see so what I'm gonna do I know I used eight and a half of these drops and um if i can find oh there it is oh, i don't have to use another one here it is i just used a little bit of the ninth ball and i do have one more left so i'm going to just do it out of this it's going to look big but you can do um i wouldn't do any more weight yarn than a four because then it looks too the pineapples look too big unless you like it big um i like using a number one or two fine weight um for it so it looks lacy so um, what I'm going to do is just show you um, an example. So the, um, it's 30 stitches, 30 chains. So if you want to do a large or an extra large, you know, you, you um, do your 30 chains. So, so many 30 chains. So to say you do, I don't know, let me see, 30, 60. Say you want to do for small, you could do... 30, 60, oh, it's not that. I think I might have did more than 90 for mine. It can't be because I wrote it down to 90. So I would do, even for, let me see. It'd be 30, 30 chains. So you just add on 30 chains. And then you just go around your biggest part would be your bust, right? To get to the middle of your back and at the end, you know, breast wise. <laughs> I would do your biggest part. Don't do your waist part or your shoulders. Do it, you know, breast wide. And then you get the right one. But it's 30 chains, okay? And I'm just going to use it with a, um, a number four cotton. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'll be right back. Because I gotta flip my camera around so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so hopefully this turns out good, and I gotta get it right. <laughs> and hopefully you like it, because I think it looks really good when it's on. So I did <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five. six pineapples so actually I did more than 90 chains then <laughs> I 
can't build much more. I'm sorry, I'm losing count of everything. So I'm just going to use a size 6 hook. And I'll meet you right back in a second. I'm just going to pause and turn the camera. Okay, I am back. I am back. So hopefully you'll like this tutorial. I'm hoping that the focus and everything and the lighting is good. I leave enough on my tail. So I did a slip stitch and I'm using a size 6 millimeter. And I'm going to chain um, 30 because I don't really want to take up a lot of time um, of you. So I'm going to chain 30. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I always have the problem with my hands. 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, so there's 30 chains. I hope that's, I hope it's focusing right for you. I really do. Okay, now. Row one, you're going to do two double crochets in the fourth chain from hook. So one, two, three, four. So that's your double crochet. That's one. And two. Okay, so your chain acts as one for this pattern. Then it says to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm sitting on my yarn. Sorry. Five, six, seven. Okay, and then you're going to skip next five chains so one two three four oh i haven't i did it wrong one two three four five you're going to skip the next five chains and then single crochet into the sixth one okay and then it says to chain chain Excuse me for a second. <laughs> Chain three. S skip. Oh my heaven. Skip two. One, two. Go into the third. There you go. So now you have your. This part here. You're chaining seven. Going to single crochet into the sixth chain. You're going to skip two chains. Chain three. And go into the third with a single crochet. Now you're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now what you're going to do is your shell. Um, and that is. Why is that doing that to me? So one, two, three, four, five, and you're going to do a shell. So you're going to do a double crochet. Sorry, I'm just reading my pattern as I go. Two double crochets in the same stitch then you're going to chain one and then you're going to do two more double crochets into the same one I can move the camera down a little bit maybe I might have to do that 
Yes, I go from big to small. Sorry about that. It's just me. Okay. All right. So that's what it's looking like. It does look wonky at first, but don't worry. It's going to get nicer as you go on. That's why I do it with the number one or two weight. You could do it with three weight, but I wouldn't do it any more than that. But that's the way it looks, okay? So that this is going to be a repeat now. So what you're going to do is chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you're going to miss five. One, two, three, four, five. And you're going into there with a single crochet. Okay, chain three, one, two, three, skip two, one, two, go in the third chain and do another single crochet. Okay, and then what you're going to do is chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're going to go into your last chain. So you're skipping two, go into your last chain, and you're going to do three double crochets. Oh, sorry. Ah. So always in your last, you do three double crochets. So one. It's a little tight, a little finicky. The first row is always finicky. Two, and one more. There you go. Okay. So that's what it looks like. It does look wonky, but honestly, it's going to turn out just beautiful. Okay? All right. Now let's get some more yarn out here. All right, second row. You're gonna chain three. One, two, three. And then you're gonna do two double crochets in your first double crochet stitch. So here, right here, where your chain is, that acts like your first double crochet, okay? Do two more double crochets into this stitch. One, and two. Okay, there. Then it says we got to chain three, one, two, three, and you're going to place a single crochet stitch on your chain. Just chain seven. You are going to place a single crochet stitch right here. Don't worry, it's going to look wonky. Don't worry about it. It's going to be just fine. Then it's going to say um okay chain five one two three four and five you're gonna hop over here to here to the seventh chain so I'll hop over and you're going to do another single crochet stitch right there and see now you made that little bridge for your pineapple you're starting this is your initial starting of your rows so then each row you can you can straighten out your single crochet stitch as you go but that's the way it should be looking okay i know it doesn't look right right now but it will look really gorgeous when you're done now you're going to chain three one two and three you're going to hop over here and do your shell so that is two double crochets Two doubles. Okay. I know that looks big. Eh? Sorry. Okay. Chain one and then back in the same one and you're doing two double crochets. One, two. Okay. And then you're going to chain three. Now you're just doing a repeat now. One, two, three and you're going to go into your seventh chain here 
the one that you made here, and you're going to do a single crochet stitch. Okay, and then you're going to chain one, two, three, four, five. Five chains, hop over to the next, your last seven chains, and do a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Don't worry, it's going to look wonky until we get the pineapple going. Now, you're going to do in your last chain here that we added, that's our crochet stitch, double crochet. You are going to do a double crochet stitch. You're going to do three. So one, two, and three. Okay, so that's what it should be looking like. You can fix your little things here as you go. I wait till I get the, the other stitches in. But that's the way it looks. Okay? Now what you're going to do is chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work. And you're going to, right here, this is your first double crochet. You can add two more double crochets into that same stitch where your chain is. Your um, chain row is so one and two. Okay, so that's what it'll look like. Now we're on row number three. And we did our double crochets. Now it says 11. So now we're not going to do any chains right now you're gonna triple crochet so you are gonna wrap your yarn twice on your hook oops sorry and you're gonna hop right over into that chain five where you put that chain five and you're gonna do a triple crochet 11 times so this is one oops I really want to do a good job so you guys will like it. <laughs> so this is, oh my heavens. Okay. So triple crochet. One. That's one triple crochet. You want to do 11 of them. Come on now. So that's one. two triple crochets three four now remember for triple crochet it's yarn over twice five it looks more daintier with a uh, smaller yarn but it still looks nice like this so we got one, two, three, four, five, triple crochet, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 okay so what you do is spread out your little bottom of your pineapple so it comes across so you got 11 triple crochets here okay and then what you're going to do is do your shell so you're going to yarn over you're going to go right to your shell and do two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets okay second time now we're going into the next pineapple well we're going to make the pineapple don't worry about these little loops they don't look right because after a while you, you're going to straighten them all out so it looks good okay so you, you're going to hop right over that chain five Oh, okay. There. <laughs> I'll fix that after. 
Okay, and now we're going to do triple. So yarn over twice, go into there, and do one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oops, just going to six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Let's count just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. This is 10. And this yarn stretches too. <laughs> okay, let's see. Some of them went big down the bottom there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So that's what you do. You just spread it out. And then after a while, you know, once you get going, you can straighten out these bottoms very easy by up or down. And then you can have it sitting right. You know what I mean? I fiddled around with them a little bit. That's all I do. That, so that's what it looks like so far. Okay. And now we're going to hop right over. And we are going to do three double crochets. into the last chain so one two and three then we're going to chain three one two three turn our work so everything now is just going to be repeats okay that is it Oh, no, not, not really. We're doing different stages of the pineapple. But mainly, you'll see what I mean. So, it gets easier. So, our first chain now is our first double crochet. So, we need two more double crochets in the same chain space. One. And two. Now, we did the triple crochet. Now, we're on row four. Um, we did that. And then it says single crochet in the first treble. So now we're going to start our things for the pineapple. So we're going to skip these two, go into the first treble. This is your first treble of the pineapple. Do a single crochet stitch. Then what you're going to do is chain three. Oh, sorry. One, two, three. Skip one treble. Go into the next treble and do a single crochet. Chain three. One, two, three. Skip one. Go into the next treble and do a single crochet stitch. One, two, three. Skip one and do next one you do a single crochet stitch. One, two, three. Skip one. Go into your next treble and do a single one two three and go into your last treble and do your last single crochet stitch so this is what it looks like one two three four five so you have five okay then you are going to do we chain Okay, yep, we made it. I made a mistake. Please forgive me. This is going to take a bit. <laughs> okay, chain three. 
so at the end of row one two three on the beginning of row of four chain three one two three there you go now hop over to your first treble and do a single crochet stitch okay chain three skip one treble go into your next treble do a single crochet stitch chain three skip one go into your next treble one two three skip one go into your next treble one two three skip one go into your next treble one two three go into your last treble there now it's going to start this is when you need to do this and you straighten up your your little things down here and you just keep doing that all the way through okay so we have one two three four five for the pineapple now we got chain three one two three Go into your shell and do your shell. So one double crochet, two double crochets. Oops. Oh. Chain one and two more double crochets into the same stitch. Okay. Chain three, one, two, three. Go into your first treble and do a single crochet stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip one treble, go into your next treble and do a single crochet stitch. One, two, three. Skip one, single crochet. One, two, three. Skip one, single crochet. One, two, three. Skip one, single crochet. One, two, three. And there's your last one there. And then you chain three. One, two, three. And you do your last three treble or uh, three double crochets into the top of your stitch of your chain. So one. Two and three so that's what it looks like it gets easy i know i did a couple boo-boos i'm really sorry but it does get easy okay so you're going to chain three one two three turn your work and you're going to do two double crochets into your first very first Right there where your chain is. So one and two. Now we have to figure out we're on the fifth row. One, two, three, four, five. So the fifth row says chain three, single crochet into the chain space five times. Okay. So we're chain three again. Yep. One, two, three. Okay, and we're going into your first, your first loop of the five that we just did. Okay, single crochet, chain three, one, two, three. Go into your next loop, single crochet. One, two, three. Into your next loop, single crochet. See how we're doing that? So our pineapple's growing. So we did one, two, one, two, three. This is three. We got one more to do. One, two, three. Into your last chain space. And see, it starts growing. Your pineapple starts growing. So the first time we did five loops. One, two, three, four, five. This time we did one, two, three, four. And it keeps going small until you grow that pineapple. And we have to chain three, one, 
two, three, and do your double crochet stitches two, chain one, and two more double crochet stitch for your shell. Okay, chain three, one, two, three, and now it's just a repeat. So you're going to go into your first loop of the pineapple and do a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, go into your next loop, single crochet, one, two, three, into your next one, single crochet, and one, two, and three, and into your last, no, not our last yet, we got one, two, this is our third one, that's three now, one, two, three, now into your last little circle, single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and we're at the end, and we'll do three double crochets top of the chain. So one, two, and three. Okay, so that's what that's looking like now. And it does stretch, like this cotton does stretch. So that's good when you got a little bit of stretch. But if you want a tighter, like I, I'm using a size four, like I did on mine, um, you can do it with a, a smaller hook and smaller yarn. You can even do this with a smaller hook if you want, but then your pineapple, like it all depends what yarn you use, what cotton you use. Because I twist my work a little bit when I'm doing it. So that's what it looks like. So now we have one, two, three, four. Okay? So that's what it's looking like. It's really pretty. You can fix that after. So now we just did five. So now I'm going to slip and we're going to do row six. So at the end of row five, one, two, three, four, five, we are going to do chain three, one, two, three, and you're going to turn your work. Okay. And then our black piece is coming out. Okay. We're going to do two more double crochets at the beginning where your chain is. So because your chain counts as a double crochet, so there's three there. Now it says chain four, one, two, three, four. We're going to hop right over, go into your first single crochet of that, the fourth one. Remember, one, two, three, four. And you're going to do a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three. Now these are going to get smaller as we go because you want to get top of the pineapple, right? So the second loop, you put a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three. And go into our last one. No, I'm wrong again. <laughs> so you want one more. <laughs> we need three of them. One, two, three. And one more. There you go. There we go. Now we've got a chain four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to do our double crochet shell. So two double crochets. Oh, my heavens. That did not work out right. Sorry. This is the first time I ever did something so like this. No, I love the pineapple stitch. It's really beautiful. So two double crochets, chain one, and two more double crochets into the same one to make that shell. Chain four again. One, two, three, four. Now, we're totally, like, right here. We missed these big spaces because the pineapple's right here. So that's why you build them up with the chains, okay? So you're going to hop right over that, that one. You're going to go into your first loop of the pineapple stitch, okay? And you, oh, sorry. Ooh. You're going to single crochet, okay? Then you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And three, go to your second loop, go in and do a single crochet. One, two, three, go into this little loop, 
and do a single crochet and then it's one two three our last loop single crochet chain four one two three four and then you're going to do your last three double crochets in the last of your chain one two and three okay so that is what one two three four five we just did five rows or six rows one two three four five six that's the end of six rows like I said it, it grows see it's looking pretty I know I'm a sideways crocheter for some reason so now so we had our did we did our 11 triple crochets down here in treble and then we did one two three four five loops and then our next row we did one two three four loops in our last row we just did one two three so our pineapple is almost shortening up to make that pineapple okay now we're going to chain three one two three turn your work and you could do with the chain that that adds as your one okay so we're going to do two more sorry for my nails are looking orange i had some uh doritos and <laughs> i washed them but the stain doesn't come off so i gotta redo it okay so we're going to do two more double crochets i gotta use a scrub brush <laughs> so that's three so that was six so now we're on seven so the seventh row we have to do chain three two double crochets in the first double crochets chain five one two three four and five we're going to skip all that and we're going to go right into here and we're going to do our first single crochet chain three two three into your next loop and you're going to do a single crochet stitch chain three two three into here now that's all you do because that's pretty much the next row is your end of your pineapple see how the pineapple grows i think it's neat now what we have to do is chain five yeah one two three four and five we're going to hop right over and do our two double crochets we're doing our shell so it's, it's a pretty easy um pattern i advise any beginner to try it because you're going to love it this is my first pattern i ever read and i really love it i'm going to make a couple more but in different weights because i did my first blue one in this weight yarn i want to do a little bit smaller so now we're going to do is chain five again. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to hop right over to our first loop. And we're going to go right single crochet. Okay. Chain three, one, two, three. We're going to go right into the second loop. And there's your first loop one two three and here's your last loop okay so that's what it looks like i love this pineapple stitch just might look a little wonky but i have to fix it down there and now you're chaining five one two three four five and you can hop right over and do three double crochets in your last double crochet stitch right up top there of your chain so one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. So that is row, we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we're on row eight. In row eight says to chain three. Oh, sorry. So we did our chain three, 
two more double crochets in here into the same space. So one and two. Okay. And then it says chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to hop right over here. Go in your first. We're going to hop from here. We're going to go right into your first loop of your pineapple. This will be the end of your pineapple. Chain three, one, two, three hop right over and do a single crochet into there and that's what it's looking like okay and now you're going to chain seven one two three four five six seven you're going to hop right over and do two double crochets do you're going to do your shell Chain one and two double crochets. Keep on twisting. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to hop right over to that one loop, first loop of your pineapple. Single crochet, chain three. Hop over to your next chain space and now chain seven one two three four five six and seven and you're gonna hop right over here and do your last three double crochets top of your chain of your turning chain one two and three so that is your first pineapple people and now all you're going to do is repeat the same, what I just did, you're going to repeat it again. So, if you give me a few minutes, I'm going to pause and I'm going to um, do a bathroom break, sorry, and then I'll be right back, okay? Sorry about that. My cat Charlie is in here now, so hopefully he won't bug us. <laughs> but that is what the pattern is. Now, I'm wondering if I should do another set with you. But that's what it looks like. It's really beautiful. I don't know if I have enough to do another row. I'll have enough to do another row, but I don't know. So that's what it looks like. Um, so I hope you like this tutorial. Um, if you want it done again, maybe I could do it in um, a little bit thinner yarn. Um, hopefully you understood how to do it. And I hope you like it. So thank you for watching. Um, sorry for the long delay on the pattern or the tutorial. But I... And I know I made a couple of mistakes, but I'm really sorry. <laughs> but that is the pineapple stitch. Um, I hope that you really like it. And like I said, you just fiddle around with the bottoms to make sure. All right. Thank you for watching. God bless you guys. Um, I'll see you in the next couple of days with another, hopefully another tutorial. If not, it'll be another unboxing. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, everybody. I love you so much for having patience. Thank you for being with me. God bless you all. Good night.